Well, welcome to Unit 2, Topic 1, Video 9, and everyone's favourite rule, Heron's Formula. So, let's have a look at it now. And here's another way we could find the area of a triangle. So, let me draw any old triangle here. And I'm going to tell you that the side lengths of this triangle are 7, 5, and 11. Okay, it's a possible triangle. 7 plus 5 is 12, so it works. Um, I could find the area of this triangle. Now, there's some complicated procedures I could follow to get the area of the triangle. But instead, I'm going to do this thing here. I'm not going to go into as much detail as the last video. But here is the area formula. Area equals the square root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Hmm? I'm a minus back to home. Sick. And what's, what's A, B, and C, and S? Well, I'll tell you what S is. S is equal to A plus B plus C over 2. And I'll tell you what A and B and C are. A and B and C are side length. It's not like Pythagoras. This is not a right angle triangle necessarily. It might be. It's not, it doesn't matter where A, B, and C go. They just have to go on a side length each. They're all treated the same in here. So, there we have some magic in that we can use this formula to calculate the area of this triangle every time. And this is called Heron's formula. And before you stress out too much, it's on your formula sheet. So you don't have to memorize it, but you do have to know how to use it. Heron's formula right there. So you know Heron's formula, um, and you've got your triangle with your side lengths. I could prove it to you, but we're not going to do that, and we need a little bit of the stuff that we're going to learn later on. We're just going to use it. We can use it now to find, and this is the process I'd expect you to follow. Find S, then calculate the area. So step one, S equals A plus B plus C over 2, which in this case is 7 plus 5 plus 11 over 2, which is 11.5. Okay, so we've got our S value, 11.5. And now, step two is to put it into Heron's formula. So we get the square root. Uh, I should do it. I should actually, I'm just going to cross that out. I'm going to do it below. Two, area equals the square root of 11.5, which is S, times 11.5 minus A, which is 7, times by 11.5 minus B, which is 5, times by 11.5 minus C, which is 11, there. And now I'm just going to do some light um, simplification so that when I put in my calculator it's a bit quicker. So 11.5 times by 4.5 times by 6.5 times by 0 0.5. And now I can put that in my calculator and evaluate it for the area. 11.5 times 4.5 times 6.5 times 0 0.5 is equal to 168.1875 the square root of 168.185 and the area therefore is equal to the square root of that answer 12.9687 dot 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 um, so 12.97 Units squared, whatever, there's no units, whatever the units are. Okay, um, so I'm going to leave this video there. That's Heron's formula. All you've got to do is throw some numbers into this. The biggest problem I ever see with students is they look at this and freak out. But there's no need to do that. You look at this, it looks complex, but we're just substituting known numbers in. As long as you know what A, B and C are, throw it in your calculator and off you go. All the best. Well, it's been great that you can join me. I hope all that makes sense. And remember, Heron's formula itself is found on your formula sheet. All the best.